What's going on YouTube? Abram Diaz here. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me how do I change the tip on a pool cue. So I got to actually change mine out today. So we're going to go ahead and do one. Now keep in mind there's lots of ways you can do it. This is the way I like to do it and of course I'm using my cue as an example because I want to make it very clear that I treat every customer's cue as if it were my own. Some of you may agree with the method I use, some people may disagree. But here we go. So we're going to start off, I'm going to be installing a Kamui Black Soft, which is my tip of choice. But we're going to go ahead and uh, face off cut off the old tip and let's uh, let's do it so I've already cleaned the surface of the ferrule I generally like to use a, a Mr. Clean sponge that's just I you do that as a precaution so that when if I get any overflow of glue it doesn't trap the the chalk marks underneath which will essentially make it permanent I prefer a clean ferrule as often as I can so we're gonna go ahead and face off the old tip and I always like, whenever I cut off or install, well, when I install a tip, soft tips in particular, they can be a little tricky. You want to be sure to have your lathe at a, at a much slower RPM because soft tips can seize up on you if you cut them at too high of a speed. And there we go, we have a seemingly flat surface, very flat actually. Um, whenever you face off the old tip, you want to be sure to take off as least material as possible. I always go in about a thousandth, which um, these Predator ferrules are capped pretty heavy, which taking the least material off as possible will allow for countless tip changes before you start exposing the tenon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scuff it, the surface of the ferrule, with some 120 grit sandpaper. And I'm gonna turn the machine on and then I'm just gonna to touch it. I just wanna get that 120 scratch pattern and I see I got a pretty good one and I'm just gonna rotate it 180 degrees. Really saturate it. I'm gonna blow it off. So I have a clean surface. Now with the same 120 grit sandpaper I'm gonna scuff the glue side of the tip. And I like to go in a circular motion, applying even pressure to all sides. And people ask why 120 grit, because I find that it's the best grit for maximum adhesion on leather. I'm gonna blow off the tip, open up the pores. As you can see, that's a very, a very scuffed surface. Now, I wanna take my glue. I like to use Loctite Super Glue Gel, gel control, because it has a lot of give to it. If you don't use gel control, what could happen is if that glue really crystallizes, it could be potential for having your tip pop popping off. Now, if you're installing, depending on what you're installing, you do want to use a liquid-based super glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my glue. Just blow this off. And we're gonna apply it right to our ferrule surface. Doesn't need a whole lot. Then I'm gonna take my tip, careful handling it not to, 
touch it with the surface of my fingers nor the face of the ferrule because the oil in your hands will cause the glue to not stick properly. And some people use a centering tool. I choose not to. So I'm gonna apply a little pressure. Then that's enough that'll hold the tip in place and I'm gonna lock it in my, my stock. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm gonna take a paper towel, a piece of one, I'm gonna wipe off any excess glue. Now this stuff literally will set within seconds, but what I like to do is I like to spray a little activator And all that's going to do is I just use it as a precaution because when I do trim my tip down, when I do the, the pre-cuts on it, I don't want to gum up my, my cutting tool. That's really the only reason I use an accelerator. There's really no, no purpose for it because this stuff uh, sits so quickly. All right, we're going to give it give it about a minute or so and we're going to begin begin cutting. I'm going to adjust my my RPM speed to a much lower RPM. Make sure I have enough clearance, which I do. And we're just going to wait wait a little bit. It's ready. Leather. Okay, so I'm going to begin cutting now. And on my pre cuts, I like to cut from right to left. there. Okay, I'm pretty I'm pretty close to being flush with the ferrule. Now, I could do another pass, but you don't want to risk going into the ferrule. So what I like to do is I like to take a brand new razor blade and finish up the job freehand. So you're gonna see a little white, but that's not the ferrule. That's actually a lot of the glue that has hardened due to the accelerator I use. And I'm just gonna trim the tip. that up at the very end with the, the final clean cut and I'm going to shape my tip. I prefer shaping my tip just shy of a nickel.
and I'm taking quite a bit of material off because I like my tips. I don't like them to sit very high. All right, now that I got the curvature that I want, I'm gonna go back in for that final clean cut. Feels good. Now, we're gonna take some 400 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna go right up and sand right on the tip, all the way up to the ferrule. And then this, you could even go on the ferrule a little bit. And that's gonna help take any scratches off, and the same thing with the little 600. As you can see, it takes nothing off the ferrule material. Now we're gonna do the same with some 800. Feels perfect. Now, I'm gonna take a little Tiger Burnisher that I like to put in this little uh, juice bottle. The Tiger Burnisher is always a must. It's good for the leather, and it adds a little bit of protection to the ferrule. Keeps the chalk from sticking to it. Then I'm gonna buff it out with a piece of leather. Then, a finishing touch I like to do, I like to take a little beeswax and hit the side walls of the tip, which is gonna help keep the tip from mushrooming and seal that leather off really well. Looks good, and then that's how you uh, change the, the tip out on a pool cue. That's how I do it. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button if you like what I'm doing. And if anybody's interested in any service work, um, I have a strong customer base down here in San Diego. Send me a private message or, or shoot me an email. I'll have the, that information in the description. Thanks for watching, peace.